A lot of people are trying their best to prove why Vivek Ramaswamy is a World Economic Forum plant. People are also accusing him of being a fake candidate. Previously, we saw he was accused of manufacturing and selling fake medicine. Well, there's another one on the table right now we're going to see. So let's check it out. Those of you that have been on this channel before know that I've called out Vivek, the fake Ramaswamy before. We're going to continue to do that because what it needs calling out. Preach to him, you're a preach. In this video, we're going to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, how he lies, and how conservatives like it. But first, my name is Tim Black. If you're new to the channel, but you want to follow Cornel West's run to the presidency, and you want to track political news in a way that's told from a black perspective, subscribe to this channel. Let's get into it. Mitty Hassan from MSNBC's or Peacock recently had Vivek on the show, and he caught him in a lie. And he did something that was really major. Mm -hmm. He did not let Vivek wiggle out of the line. You accepted a Paul and Daisy Soros scholarship at law school, the law school that was specifically set up for the children of immigrants. It was an affirmative action scholarship. And your defense for that is that you didn't have the money to pay for law school, even though you'd already made over a million dollars true. at the time. And my, made another my defense two million of that dollars. Is, my defense of that you is somebody gives you a merit scholarship at the age of 24, you no, take you it. Told at the age of 24, channel, somebody gives you a merit scholarship, you take it. I didn't say I didn't have the money. I didn't say I didn't have the money. When I was going to law school in my mid-20s, in my early 20s, when I didn't have the money, and it was a merit scholarship, when I didn't have the money, when I didn't have the money. I didn't say I didn't have the money. When I didn't have the money. I didn't say I didn't have the money. I said at a time when I had a lot less money than now, $50,000 no, you said, you said, you said was exactly still useful I didn't have the money to make. make. You keep forgetting your quote. You said, when yeah, I didn't well, have the money. When I didn't have the money. And your defense for that is that you didn't have the money to pay for law school, even though you'd already made over a million dollars. True. When I didn't have the money. So, so, so Mehdi, I've made this really easy for everybody. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> he just came. There you have it, folks. <laughs> well, do you think that's enough to prove that he's a fake candidate? The fake. I'm sorry. The fake. Cordita writes. He can't even try to wiggle out of this. It's obvious. It's right there. You can hear it, you can see it. Vivek is a lying scumbag, that's what he is. There's no contemplating, there's no debating it. We ain't gotta sit back and like try to figure him out and wonder what kind of ethics he has. He doesn't have ethics. Not only did Vivek lie about getting the money, he's a guy that would go in front of you and say, affirmative action is wrong. Black people don't deserve a leg up. Black people are not discriminated against. Meanwhile, what did this guy do? When he had an opportunity where he could have let a scholarship go for somebody who didn't have the money, he took advantage of it anyway. That's right. Vivek, the fake Ram Swami is one of those people that says, tells the world that white men are more discriminated against than black people. 97% of all venture capital money goes to who? White guys. According to the Harvard Business Review, black founders receive roughly only 1% of venture capital funding. But see, Vivek would lie to you and tell you they're the ones doing so bad. Not because it's something he believes, but because that's what he thinks they want to hear. Getting a free ride and laughing at black people that couldn't go. Getting a free ride and telling black people that they are, that they are lazy and they're not applying themselves. And then he brings that same energy 15 years later into politics. And guess what? He's got so much money and he's got so much backing from Republicans and Democrats. Because remember, once again, he's on MSNBC. And what are they doing? Giving him a platform. Through college. Explain all <laughs> Come <of> this. On. <laughs> so, so you know what's really kind of funny about this? And joining me now is the Republican presidential candidate that was at the center of the debate, Vivek Ramaswamy. Mr. Ramaswamy, welcome back to Meet the Press. You said two weeks ago. You're in favor of freezing the current line of control, letting Russia keep the Donbass region as long as Ukraine would give up all attempts to enter NATO. That's Vladimir Putin's basic demand. The Biden Biden. family. 2009 yep. and 2010, you made $750,000. You had the money to pay for law school. You didn't need a Soros affirmative action scholarship that you now yes, criticize. I mean, it, none of this is worthy, but if you think it is, let's get to the detail. That was well, actually I, the I, first big piece you say money you're anti I got. Action. Was, well, you took a scholarship for immigrants I'm anti and their children. So why did you take a scholarship so which, for the children which of immigrants? Mm, yeah, I don't know about this one. It's like they've been able to prove that he slipped off. <laughs> I like Vivek, don't get me wrong, but 
it's like he he said it. I don't I don't I haven't seen I don't know if it's taken out of context, but it, it kind of feels like he said it and he's been caught and also he's stuttering a little bit, which means he didn't have a reply or it sounds like he didn't have a honest reply at the time. I don't know. I don't know for a fact. This is interesting. Hmm. Let me know what you think about these things. Which falsehood would you like me to address? The financial one or the or the one about my views on affirmative did, action? Because I can go in whichever order you'd like. On the financial $50, piece of it. Not at, not at the time that I had applied for the scholarship yes, you did. that fall. Yes, you that did. December. Yes, you did. This, Mitty, is, this I, is awkward for you because believe you me, did. I just, <laughs> And that's how they do, y'all. They get theirs, and then they tell you, you can't have yours. They get theirs, they climb up the ladder. And once they get up the ladder, they pull that ladder up and throw it away. Break out the chainsaw and cut it down. Mm -hmm. Cut it down into small pieces. Hack it with a hacks. Cack it, cack it, cack, it, cack it. Then they put it in a big hole. Then they put lighter fluid on it. Then they flip a, then they take a flamethrower and they light it on fire. Yeah, they don't just pull the ladder up no more. And then they stigmatize anybody who might need a ladder in the future. But fake is not uniquely bad. He's hard, but don't get me wrong. But he's not uniquely bad, man. We got a lot of bad politicians who lie through their teeth. Their teeth should jump out of their mouths. They lie so much. They're so horrible. And guess what happens? Nothing. Do you really believe that conservatives would hold it against Vivek when they find out he lied? They don't care. Vivek comes to America, enjoys all the benefits of being an American citizen, using the rights that were given to them Ooh. that many of our ancestors fought and died for. And what does he do? He comes here and tells us we shouldn't have those rights. He tells us you don't need them. He says, let's rage Let's raise the voting age. And, and better yet, let's not even make people citizens. You gotta earn citizenship. Yeah, because I heard, I heard an old white man on a bus one time say it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. I think that his point, um, it's not entirely clear. I think Vivek said, I mean, not to defend Vivek here, he can probably speak better for himself if you watch the videos. But I think Vivek said he wants to do that so young Americans understand a lot more about the history, you know, of America. So when they are choosing a president or when they are being when they are participating in a task as big as choosing a president, they understand from history why they are selecting this person and what the country needs at the time. Yeah, he did break the reasons out in the in the breakfast club his re his reasoning with regards to that process kind of makes sense you know but i understand why some people wouldn't like it like i mean it's, it's a dialogue right so you can oppose it if you if you don't like it which is okay but he gave a reason not just increasing voters and all of you know you're making it sound like there was no reason he just chose to do that you know so there was a reasoning why these people are slapping the face. <laughs> Conservatives. We built this country. Oh, outsiders. This is our country. We don't have another country. This America belongs to us. All of us. It's time we throw the Vivek Ramaswamis, the Vafakes, and the Vav Snakes out. How about that for a campaign promise? You spill the evil? You talking down on the people that built this country? Leave. So who would he, would he rather vote for? Yeah. Is he preferring Joe Biden? Who would he rather vote for? What's so hard with that? Well, why, why would you want to be in a country that's full of people that you can't stand, that you have contempt for? Leave. You got all the money in the world. Go home. Spend your money for fake. <laughs> this is this is a little too aggressive. Vivek was born in America. Like I don't has he been to India before? I feel like his life is America. Like he's an American. So when you're asking him to leave, he probably doesn't have any other home besides America. <laughs> this is a funny one. It's like leave. <laughs> I would like Vivek to see this video and react to it.
Look, guys. I'm going to continue to cover the effects, Ram Squammy. Ram and Shammy. I'm going to I'm gonna continue to cover them. You know why? Because I think it's important to expose the hypocrisy of not just Democrats, but also Republicans. Hmm. I mean, come on, guys. Okay, so he does it from both sides. Okay, that makes sense. And you're not really that interested in Joe, Joe Biden, are you? And you don't want to hear me talk about them. Let's spread the love. Put in the comment section below topics and politicians that you want me to cover. I want some feedback from you. I want to know what's important to my audience. Hmm. Yeah, who would you rather choose on the Republican side? Yeah, Vivek, I feel like his quick response could also be detrimental to him because sometimes he, you know, he's fast to respond. And when you're too fast, you can give a response that in future, he could, he could hurt you, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. Sounds like I'm trying to defend Vivek Ramaswamy here. I'm not, you know, I'm not in America, so I'm not voting for him anyway, so I'm not trying to defend him. But I'm just saying, like, some of his videos and the things he, the policies, he had reasoning, though know, he shared reasoning and facts why he chose those policies, and which to me, it made sense. But as far as the first video where he said he didn't have money and they proved that he had money, I don't know, you know, I don't know if... If that was a lie or that was taken out of context but if if it's not a lie the reasoning would be that's why i understand what he's talking about so the name of the channel is team black tv i'll put the link in the description but i think his reasoning or his concern is the fact that this man is rich and he wants to be a leader but when he had the opportunity to let somebody else wouldn't have money take the scholarship which would be that's a quality of a leader you want but Vivek did not do that. I guess that's where he's coming from, which is understandable. You know, I don't, I don't have any problem with, you know, that his theory. But what I don't know is if that was taken out of context, because the way they cut and edit things now on the internet is easy to cut and edit things. So, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty fun topic, pretty fun topic. But when he says Vivek should go back home, to where? <laughs> Isn't he from like Ohio? Is it is it Ohio? Yeah. Anyways, share your thoughts on that one. It was an interesting video. I like his channel. I like it. I'd like to see who he criticizes next. But talk to me in the comment section. Like I said, I'll put the link to the channel. You can go check out some more videos and share your thoughts. Smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace. I made this bed on my own.